Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, and it's time for our next project. So the Lolo series has a bit of an unusual history when it comes to differences in various national releases. According to a bit of research from my friend Ultra, what we in the US would know as Adventures of Lolo 1 and 2 were actually mashups of stages from earlier games in the Eggerland series. Just to make things a little more confusing, there actually were Japanese games under the titles of Adventures of Lolo 1 and 2, which were not just ports of the ones we had, and were actually harder stages. And then there was Lolo 3, which was kind of its own thing, and didn't actually have a Japanese release. There was even a Game Boy Lolo game that saw a European release, but never made it to the US. Today, however, we're more interested in The Quest of Lala, a prequel Eggerland game that was only released in Japan, and for Windows of all things. A ROM hacker, however, took it upon themselves to try to recreate The Quest of Lala as a Lalo 1 hack, and so that's what we'll be looking at today. Also, flashing lights warning once again, because it still uses the same intro, just with a twist, so I'll let you know when the flashing lights are done. And the light show is over. I do like the attention to detail that they swapped the positions of Lolo and Lala here in the intro. Nice touch. And welcome to The Quest of Lala. Made in 2017 by Zinc Oxide, apparently. So, let's get to it. I haven't played this ROM hack before, so this is a blind run. We'll see how this goes. Floor 1, your mission. Save the captured Prince Lalo from the hands of the evil King Egger. You're the only one who can save Prince Lalo. Okay. So we have a different overall visual style to the terrain. I don't know if this ROM hack follows the same structure as Adventures of Lalo. That is, ten floors with five puzzles each. But I think aiming for doing ten puzzles per video is still a good benchmark, so we'll go for that. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so instead of the magic jewel, we have keys now. Fair enough. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I have no choice as far as where to put this emerald framer. That blocks me off from going that way to get the heart framer down there next to the skull, so... The one in the middle has to give egg magic, right? Yeah, okay. We're still in the early rooms. They can't do anything too mean to us just yet, right? Okay, so the Almas are a bit more blue than I'm used to seeing them. I'm not sure I knew that they could roll at you from a half-frame position. Probably good to know that they can do that. Though I don't think they can take notice of us from a vertical position just yet. At least not and start rolling. I want to say they could do that in later games. But this is a Lalo 1 ROM hack, so it makes sense that they can't do it yet. Okay, well, that's simple enough. Just pick a gall and block it. Okay, yeah, this would be the fifth room on this floor, and there's no door in the background, so I guess this will end the floor. 
just have to keep you guys out of the way. There we go. Leapers are still heckin' adorable. Well, that's not a stairway. Some kind of big gem or something? Either way, Lala's happy about it. Floor 2, congratulations, you've just cleared Floor 1. This is not the end of the battle. Well, that message is still there. Okay, so no bridge power, so I guess we're going sailing. And... I guess those patches of flowers are supposed to be like the grass panels? Okay, yeah, the skulls can't cross onto the flowers. Good to know. Hi there, Medusa. Oh, you're safe enough in this room, but you're gonna be a problem later on. I'm probably gonna get stabbed by a lot of you. the different tree types, maybe they'll stand out more. Okay. Also a difference since this is Lala 1 style, even if they give me egg magic, I won't be able to use it on Rocky. So I have to be mindful of their positioning. Just get as much out of the way as quickly as I can. So as not to get pinned in. There we go. That is a lot of Medusas. I think I see what they want. Maybe? But when it wasn't that. At least able to correct for that. Okay, because yeah, that one would be able to shoot down through all those trees to hit me if I move this any further. But I do need this Emerald Framer. Because I'm going to need this up here. So not too bad, but, oh, that's a big number of Medusas. That's intimidating. Okay. So two Medusas to contend with, though I think I only need to block them from the right-hand side, both of them. No reason not to go ahead and grab this. Okay. They gave me this emerald framer, but... How to use this safely? Because I don't have a lot of room to maneuver it over there. Okay, I think I have a plan. If I park this here, then maybe I can use the gall over there as an egg and just float down the river. That, at least, is my theory. This one, I can just go ahead and turn it into an egg and use it to block the left-hand Medusa. So, let's go with that theory. Gonna have 
have to deal with your fireballs, though. But I think it is doable. I hope. Gonna go ahead, and go ahead and grab that just to get it out of the way. That was a mistake. Right. <laughs> okay. Completely overlooked that. So, first points to Gaul. I wanted to see if that would give me any more shots, but it doesn't. Okay. So this much will work, but I do have to be very careful about that. Okay, barely enough room. So, second floor done. Floor 3, congratulations, you have just cleared floor 2. This is not the end of the battle. So scorched a bit there by Gaul. Congratulations. And this is where we're going to pick up next time. With a Don Medusa that... I'm really concerned which direction he's going to be moving. Because if he's going horizontally, I need to get out of this position and fast. We'll worry about that next time. For now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. Place your bets, how many more times am I gonna get killed off?